Yeah, time for another video. So this one today, I'm gonna to be making a Harris hawk. So a customer's come to me and he said, um, can you make a hawk that he can hang from the rafters of his cafe? Now his cafe's got a lot of my sculptures already, um, so this is gonna be a nice finishing touch to the place really, to add on to it. So what I'm gonna base it on is that picture there, hopefully that shows up nicely. Now as some of you might already know, um, I am have done a couple of episodes um, or I'm doing a couple of episodes of filming for Scrap Kings on Quest. Now the first stage of the build of this bird um, we filmed for Scrap Kings so I'm a little bit into it anyway. So basically what we've filmed so far is cutting out sort of a, a back piece for the bird um, so that I've got somewhere strong enough to mount it. What I would normally do is use scrap, in, as, as the majority of my sculptures are, so I'd use like a, a gate hinge or something like that. Because this is going to be hanging from the back, I wanted to make sure that it's definitely going to be strong enough. So I've used new metal, cut it out on the extreme plasma, um, so that's all good, I know it's going to be fine. Um, I've also made a start and welded up a bit of a framework for one of the wings. Um, you'll see all that in a minute anyway. Next stage is I'm going to weld up the frame for the second wing. As you can see, that is the back piece I was talking about. We've got the two hinged pieces on there, one that are hinged pieces, cut pieces, there and there, so that I could get the bend in that. So I'll show you, demonstrate that a bit. There you go, you can see that a bit better. Um, and then we have another shelving bracket of a different kind um, for each side on the wings. So that's just one shelving bracket cut straight down the middle, uh, made into the two pieces. And then I've just got a knife Weld it on each end. Now the idea of this at the moment is purely to give me a rough guide on the shape and the size of it. I've only tacked it on loosely so you can see on this side here, this one's a bit, a bit lower down than that one. Um, that's easy enough to move, I can just bend it up um, to straighten that up, that's cool. So I will, I think what I'm going to do now is mount it up on a bar to bring the whole thing, because it's leaning right over like that, so if I bring it up more like that, it'd be easier to get a, an idea of where things are going to go. Now what I would normally use, when I've, I've made a couple of hawks before, <coughs> and what I would normally use for the, uh, the beak, I use one of these. Um, so what I will do is build up with weld across the top, build some weld up down here and down about that sort of size. Um, and then I shape that with the angle grinder to give a nice beak shape for that. And when you look head on to it, I would normally use a couple of little ball bearings or just some little metal spheres that I've generally got kicking about. I haven't got any at the moment, so what I'm thinking is using a little carriage bolt or a coach bolt, whatever it's called. Um, that's going to go on, going to be mounted somewhere around there. But the top of it, hopefully that'll focus a bit better. That'll be right. um, the top of it is a bit shallow for what I want, so I'm going to build up with weld on this one as well, shape it a little bit with the angle grinder, and then hopefully that'll work quite nicely.
built up the weld on this one here, on the top, ground it into the rough shape of the beak. You can see that on both sides. The bottom part of this little wrench thing I've reshaped to make the bottom part of the beak. So the two will end up going together, something like that, welded together. Um, what I'm going to do now, I will mount it up onto the body roughly um, and build up a bit of the head, see how it's looking. Um, what I tend to do is build up a bit of the head, take another look at the beak. I mean, it's all adjustable. The nice thing about metal is you can grind it and weld it and shape it. Add stuff, take stuff away. So we'll just keep working it until it looks right. The next stage is chop that off somewhere and then weld it onto the rough shape of the body. There we go, after all that welding and grinding and welding some teaspoons on there and taking them off, this is the rough shape of the head for the hawk. Um, it's coming on quite nicely now. This I can still make some adjustments to it, so there's going to be bits. The teaspoons that are in underneath the eyes there, um, I'm probably going to bend them in a little bit. might bend the top ones down a bit, um, and then I'll build up the head some more, probably with some more spoons, I would think. I've probably think about it, I probably will have put all of what I've just done into a time lapse, so it'll only be probably, what, 20, 30 seconds worth of footage. Uh, realistically, that's about three, four hours work, something like that. Um, just welding up, grinding back, making sure all the shapes are right on it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, next video will be um, building up some of the body, working on wings, 
um, and see how far I can get with that. The idea I've got at the moment, I want to try and keep the videos around about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes at most. So what I'll do with a project like this where it takes well, it's probably a week, week and a half's worth of work realistically, um, I'm going to put the videos out um, in stages, however many it takes. What I'll do after I've done that is put a video together with only like minimal talking um, and just all work in uh, like a time lapse. So if you just want to see how it's done, you can watch the time lapse video, uh, which will be released after the other ones. If you want to see in a bit more detail with a bit of talking, a bit of explanation, then watch these videos um, in the in the stages to see how it's all done. Um, hopefully you've liked this one. Uh, if you did, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and if you want to, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I hope you have a good day. See you on the next one.